We're in a windy car park in Abu Dhabi. I'm not at all scared. Maybe I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to drop Giacomo on Zola's bike, so I'm going to be holding on to it tight throughout the video. But this is Italian road race champion, fifth place in the Doha World Championships, Giacomo on Zola's Trek Madone team issue. It's a stunner. Where else to start with this bike than the Trek Madone frame set? Throughout the bike, there are the occasional sponsor stickers and logos. So you've got Trek Sega Fredo on the top tube, and also at the back, you've got Race Shop Limited as a sticker. And Race Shop Limited is basically, it's almost Trek's lab. It's where bikes go to be made even faster and to work for their absolute top, top athletes. I've been there, very, very interesting place. Say no more. Back to the details of the frame set. The Madone has been around for a while now, but it still, it still looks really, really, really cool. And it still looks very new. So it's aimed to be as aerodynamic as possible with cables concealed as far as possible. So you can't see the front brake cable. You can only see the, re see rather, the rear brake cable right at the back as it emerges. They are direct mount. So they've got two points where they're joined onto the frame. They're as aerodynamic as possible and they're center pull, which is different from many road brakes, which is side pull. You can see as well that to make the front end of the bike as aerodynamic as possible, they had to have these flaps so that the center pull cable can travel with the brake. Taking a look at the build of Nizzolo's bike, starting at the saddle, where he has a Bontrager Serrano RXL. Moving forwards, the bar and stem are Trek, so the bars and stem on the Madone frame set are designed to integrate with the frame set and the ones that you should use if you have this bike. They really have to be seen to be believed. They look incredibly aero, incredibly stiff, just very, very cool. Shifting is provided by Shimano. So Nizzolo has Shimano Durace Di2 levers. He's got sprint levers nestled up actually very close to the lever hood. So really good position when you're in the drops and able to brake and shift with the inside of your thumb there. Front mechs and rear mechs are Durace Di2. The chain is Durace and the cassette is a Durace. That's an 11 through to 25. So a slightly tighter range than we're used to seeing riders and teams running at the moment. Many of them go for 11 through to 28s, but the Abu Dhabi Tour is generally a flatter race, so a 25 will pose no problems for Nizzolo on most of the climbs here. Chain set is Shimano Durace 2, and that also has an SRM power meter that matches up very nicely with the SRM PC8 head unit that is in Trek Segafredo Red. One last touch of Shimano is the Durace pedals, which are potentially the most popular pedals out there in the Pro Peloton. Unlike many, if not most, Shimano teams in the Pro Peloton, although Trek Segafredo use Shimano group sets, they don't use Shimano wheels. Their wheels are supplied by Bontrager. These are the Aeolus model. They're probably about 50 millimeters deep, so pretty standard depth for most riders in most conditions. Tires are tubular and they're made by Veloflex, who, interestingly, when you see many teams with tubulars that are badged up as another brand, they'll generally be Veloflex. So in a way, they are perhaps the professional cyclists or the professional cycling team's go-to hidden or secret tire brand. We've taken a look at the build of the bike. Now we should take a look at how Nizzolo makes the bike his very own. But before we do that, I think we should take a second just to admire Giacomo Nizzolo's custom painted shoes that one of his friends designed for the Doha Worlds. Let's start off vital statistics with the measurements that Nizzolo can't necessarily choose. The Veloflex Roubaix tires don't have a width printed on the side, but the rear one comes in at 26.21 millimeters and the front one, and the front one, it got a bit windy there, comes in at 26.05 millimeters. So, 25, 26, 24 millimeters even is really the standard width that professional cyclists are using at the moment. Now to the measurements that Zolo can choose. He's got a 13 centimeter integrated stem on his Trek Madone handlebars and the bars are 42 centimeters wide. His saddle height comes in at about 73 centimeters and his reach comes in at 57 centimeters. So not overly long for sprinters. You see many sprinters with a similar saddle height to Nizzolo often going to around 60 centimeters reach just to get as long and as aero on the bike as possible. Well, there we have it, Giacomo Nizzolo of Trek Segafredo's Trek Madone bike. If you like it, do give this video a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What has been your favorite pro bike so far in 2016? If you'd like to see some more videos on GCN, of course, we've got plenty for you. If you want to check out our latest from the Abu Dhabi tour, we're here all week, click right there. And to see all of GCN's pro bikes, click there and check out that playlist. Finally, to subscribe, the GCN logo will be over my sweaty face and also there is a link to our shop on screen.